Charlie Sussman work educator, he said to us, I teach at the uh, Open University of uh, Bethlehem. Uh, and then he stops for a second and he says to us, well, as you know from your textbooks, there are three uh, social work methods, case work, group work, and community work. And then he looks at us and says, well, actually what we just did today was social work, was real social work. And I thought of this today because what this group of people have been doing, what we did today, was real social work. Uh, this is why most of us joined the social work profession. Uh, day in, day out, we experience the impacts of austerity, of injustices. So social work is not about managing the disaster or, how, or covering it up. Social work is about addressing the root causes of, of people's suffering. So I strongly, firmly believe that what we have been doing here is, is real, genuine, grassroots social work. It's why we joined the profession. So I really wanted to, um, to, to start with this example from the international uh, social work here. And as the theme is, is, uh, is austerity, and I uh, cannot help but mention uh, colleagues in Greece as well, uh, as I qualified in Greece, where um, they were the first ones when the, uh, the bailout and the austerity measures were voted in the parliament, they were the first ones to predict what austerity will mean, uh, what will happen. They were dismissed, they were vilified, uh, they were a caricature. But they were the first ones among with other professors, with psychologists and other professors, to, to take to the streets actually. And at one point they even engaged with uh, uh, an action of civil disobedience because the government uh, wanting to um, raise more, more taxes and, uh, and make so that the people pay it was a head tax, an urge and, and, and uh, a head tax that everyone had to pay, so we, it goes to the IMF. And people, actually, it wasn't that they, they didn't want to pay, they, 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 didn't, they couldn't afford this uh, head tax. So what the government wanted to do was create these mixed units of, uh, that would consist small groups of police officers, uh, tax officers, and social workers, that they would go into people's houses and actually decide if these people have the money to pay uh, and, they, and they don't. So that's an example of how the government, the state, wanted to use social workers. Social worker, workers say, no way, we're not doing this, and consider this as an act of civil disobedience, but we're not doing it. And, and actually they won. I mean, the government uh, took this back, which was another brilliant example of how, international example, these acts of resistance, they speak directly to the values of, of, the, of the social work profession. Um, at the same time, the expectation that the government had suggests that um, we, we don't have to, we, we, we don't need to idealize things. Um, our profession, social work, is, is very often, there is this historical tension between care and control. Mm -hmm. we, we, we like to think, and, and, and as I said, our principles and our values are very much, definitely in this group, colleagues are uh, rooted in the, in the social justice profession, but we cannot ignore that there is an expectation uh, in many countries, in many contexts, for social workers to manage the social control element. And this is why it's very important uh, to make sure that our profession is not depoliticized. The dichotomy between care and control is a profoundly political. Uh, and if we ignore it, if we focus on the ideology of, of, of professionalism and say, above all is uh, the professional status and we ignore um, what happens to our service users, what happens to society, then th this will have disastrous uh, consequences. And I can give you an example from Argentina, this example comes, where, uh, and this was one of the reasons why we started working on the human rights violations issue, where many social workers, Actually, over 200 social workers in the 70s and, and 80s, uh, during the dictatorship in Latin America, they were, I mean, this, the Spanish term is they were disappeared. They were disappeared. Actually, they were murdered. They were, they were uh, arbitrarily arrested and, and they were murdered. Um, it's a great, great 
tradition within social work uh, in, in Latin America of, of resistance. However, at the same time, many social workers work directly with intelligence service in collecting information about uh, movements in the same context, in the same profession, two very conflicted uh, um, <coughs> elements. So this is why it's, it's really, really important that we don't shy away from discussing politics. Uh, and this is very much uh, towards this direction. I mentioned about the colleagues who were um, murdered because what, what we do and what we expect our colleagues to do to stand up for social justice, it doesn't come easy. And, and as an academic, I know that very often uh, it's quite uh, aspirational and I say we should fight for social justice, but this comes at a cost. Mm -hmm. Most recently, and that was the, the reason why we started working, our colleagues in Turkey, just because they signed, uh, they supported a statement against the, the war in, in Syria, the uh, invasion of the Turkish army in Syria, they were all uh, dismissed uh, from, uh, from their jobs, they were vilified and persecuted, and we worked quite hard with our networks in the UK to make so that some of them, they can relocate to the UK before they're arrested and the passports are seized. And, and this is the reason why we decided that after speaking with uh, colleagues and after talking to human rights lawyers uh, to propose the creation of a committee that defends social workers, human rights, when they do work 